Welcome to the second part of my short tutorial series explaining the features of Viscount's Quorum series of classical organs. In the first part I explained how you could make basic modifications to the sound and voicing of a quorum instrument. In this second part I'm going to show you some other setup options demonstrated on this two manual quorum 40 instrument. There are two setup options relating to the keyboards which I can find by selecting Main Menu on the home screen, followed by Settings. Below the Reverb option, which I explained in the first tutorial, are settings for Keyboard Inversion and Short Octave. Keyboard Inversion works as you would expect. If I set it to Yes, the keyboards are swapped from their conventional role on this two-manual model, so that the bottom one plays the swell and the top plays the grate. It makes more sense on a three manual model because the great and choir keyboards are swapped over. That can be useful if you're preparing for a recital on an instrument in another country where the layout is different. If I select short octave below this, I can configure the keys of the bottom octave to behave like an early instrument that jumps from F down to C on its bottom two keys. So with short octave selected, the bottom octave behaves like this, and with it unselected it behaves normally like this. Further down the settings menu, Velocity Sensitivity enables me to change the way in which the instrument responds to the speed with which a key is pressed. As you can see, it can be adjusted differently for each manual and pedals with the pedals normally set to the fixed velocity value shown. You can change that, but pedals aren't usually velocity sensitive. The manuals can additionally be set to heavy, normal and light settings, or indeed to one of a number of fixed velocities. On quorum instruments, it affects the sound of what you play on orchestral stops such as the piano, which typically make more noise when you hit them harder. The setting also affects what's transmitted from the MIDI output. Talking of MIDI, if I go back to the second page of the settings menu, MIDI allows me to change various aspects of the MIDI configuration. You'd need to use this if connecting the organ to an external recording sequencer, another organ or a system such as Hauptwerk. Channels enables me to select the transmit and receive channels for different divisions of the organ. So I could change the grate to transmit on channel 3 instead of channel 2, for example. Filters, on the other hand, allows me to block certain types of MIDI messages on either transmit or receive. Notes to couplers, set to yes, means that if you have a coupler enabled such as Swell to Great, the notes on the coupled division will also transmit their own MIDI messages. Out mode changes the way that the MIDI out behaves, but I'm not going to go into that in great detail here, and you can read the manual if you want to understand it in detail. If I go back to the settings menu, combinations on the second page of the settings menu has some useful features for deciding what is saved when you store a combination piston. For example, the first one, if enabled, saves the enclosed, that is all divisions enclosed and auto pedal piston states when you store a general piston. The second one saves the MIDI piston status with the divisionals and generals. The third one is a bit complicated but it has various options for saving styles, tremulants and orchestral voices into general or divisional memories, and you'd need to read the manual to see exactly how they work. Save couplers is rather self-explanatory, as it saves coupler settings to divisionals and generals, depending on the setting. Finally, Piston Combine allows you to determine the synchronization between grate and pedal piston memories, which can be set to be independent, that is none, 
or that the great pistons control the pedal combinations, or that the pedal pistons control the great combinations, or that they both operate together, as would be the case for a typical great and pedal combinations coupled setting on a standard pipe organ. From the main menu, you can also select File to save or load various organ configurations to a connected USB drive. If I go to Load, for example, you can see that I can choose to load previously stored combinations, styles, that is all of them, or just one of them, organ settings, or indeed all of these together. Saving these might allow you to store a wide range of combination sets and voicings for different repertoire, for example. That concludes the second part of my tutorial on the features of Viscount's Quorum series of classical organs. You can find out more from the Viscount website or by arranging a visit to the showroom where you can play most of the organs in the range.